Hey, how's it going guys? Gabe Kemsey here with UnplugWithGabe.com. Now, do you have a problem recruiting people in your business or you know, you're struggling with figuring out how to sponsor people? Well, in this video, I'm gonna teach you five simple steps that you can use to recruit people on Facebook. That's right, on Facebook. This is not gonna cost you any phone calls. This is not gonna mean you have to run on the street and talk to people, literally on Facebook. So let's dive right into it. So the first step you wanna do is you wanna connect with people, right? Network marketing is all about connecting and connecting and growing your network, right? So you wanna connect with people on Facebook. Now, who are the type of people that you wanna connect with? People that are interested in doing network marketing. These are people that are looking to, you know, for extra income, that are looking for time freedom, people that are looking to work from home. These kind of people you want to target. So you can target these people by going and searching for them on Facebook groups. And this is why prospecting on Facebook can be very helpful because you can literally search groups on Facebook, just type in network marketing and then comes up, you know, hundreds of groups and go into those groups and start connecting with people, start following people, start start chats with people, you know, you want to go on people's pages, find commonalities, you know, if somebody likes to travel and you like to travel, send them a message, hey, I found you on this Facebook group, I saw that you like to travel, I'm trying to just connect, you know, how are you doing today? You know, and it's by starting those little connections like that, you begin to grow your network. And that's the first step that you want to do when, you, when you're trying to prospect on Facebook. Now, the second step is, after you connect with those people, you need to develop those relationships. Now, this can vary. It, you can do it in a day. It might take a couple weeks. It might take a couple months, but that's not the point. The point is that you want to develop these relationships to the point where these people, you feel like you, you're friends. If you become friends with these people, then they'll know, like, and trust you more, and then they'll be more willing to join your business because people don't join businesses. People join people, right? So you want to get it to the point where, you know, if I'm in your city and I'm like, hey, yeah, I'm in New York, you know, you want to go grab a cup of coffee, they'll be like, yeah, sure. You know, you want to get it to that level. So, you know, just be interested in people. Like, remember the saying, don't be interesting, be interested, right? Be interested in that person. Really find out what they, their likes are, their hobbies. Find out their problem and pain points because you can use that later when you're trying to bring up your business, which, by the way, is step number three. Once you've developed that relationship with the person, now you can start bringing up your business. But there's a special way to do this. Don't just build a relationship to be like, by the way, this is my business, here you go. Like, no, <laughs> that, that's, no that's not, you don't want to do it like that, right? What you want to do is you want to ask questions. Ask questions and figure out if their business is right for you. Because you don't want just anybody to join your business. Otherwise, you're wasting your time, right? You want people that generally are looking for something that they can actually put themselves into and they can benefit from and you can benefit from, right? So you're looking, you're sorting through people, right? You don't want just anybody to join your company, right? So when you are about to bring up your business, you wanna ask some questions. Ask some things like, you know, what what are they looking for in life? What are their goals? If money wasn't a problem or if time wasn't a problem, what would they do with their lives? You know, you wanna kind of figure out these questions about these people because when you have these answers, then you're able to gauge if and how your product, how your service, how your company can fit in with them. So say you ask them like, what would you do if money or time wasn't you know, a, a problem? And they said, you know, they want to travel the world. You can use that later on in your discussion and be like, hey, you remember when you said that you, know, you would like to travel the world if money or time wasn't a problem? Well, you know, I have an opportunity that actually might help you fulfill that dream, fulfill that goal of yours. Would you be open and take a look at it? See, by going that way, by kind of instead of just vomiting your uh, business idea to them or your, your opportunity to them, you're, you're trying to find a way that your pro business can actually solve one of their problems, can actually benefit them. Because remember, you wanna make this about them. And people aren't gonna join something unless they feel like it's gonna be benefiting them. That's why it's important to ask questions first before you start talking a business talk. And ultimately, you wanna find out if they're open to their business or not. If they're not, hey, Worst case scenario, you made a new friend. But don't forget, you've built that relationship now. So just because they don't join you today, doesn't mean they won't join you six months from now, a year from now. See, that's the power of building relationships. And you wanna remember that. The fourth, and I think the most important step is follow up. Now, if you haven't heard this before, the fortune is in the follow up. That is true, my friends, so true. You wanna follow up with these people. So after you kind of 
pick their brains a little bit, figure out what their pain and problems are, offer your business solution, and they are kind of interested. And what you want to do next is you want to present them with your business opportunity. Through That could be through a presentation, that could be through a call, whatever methods that you use, you want to show them that presentation and you want to follow up with them, right? Before you send a presentation out, make sure you get a, a certain time that you can actually, that they're going to actually watch it so that you can follow up. So ask them, hey, when can you carve out 20 minutes to watch this short presentation to give you a little bit more information about my opportunity? Uh, 4 o'clock or 6 o'clock? And they'll pick one of those times if it works. If not, they'll offer a time that works for them or ask them what time works for them. But say they say 6 o'clock, say, cool. So watch the video at 6. Would it be okay if I call you at 6.30, 6.45, 7 o'clock? You know, but you want to make sure you set a time because when you do that, it's like an appointment and they're more obliged to actually follow through and watch that presentation. But so you want to make sure you set appointments with them because if you just send out your links to anybody, you know, they're not going to be, then they might forget, you know, you want them chasing after your idea. You want them curious, you know, and so in order to kind of create that curiosity, you want to make it like, hey, you know, when are you going to watch this video and I will contact you at this time because my time is precious and you know if you don't do this that guy will so you know you want to create that in their head so that they are actually you know serious about this like oh I gotta watch this video he's gonna call me in that 30 minutes right so that's step number four is follow up the fifth and final step is close and now a lot of people, especially people that are new to network marketing, are afraid to do this, right? They're afraid to go for the clothes, go for the sale, ask for the money, pull out your wallet, give me your money. <laughs> you know, whatever that is, you know, you can't be afraid to close. Otherwise, why are you doing this, you know? And those people, if you get them to that point, they already know the deal. They're not going to be like, oh whoa, I didn't know money was involved. Like, no, they know the, they know the deal, right? But you have to initiate it because they're not going to initiate it, right? So when they're, when they've, you've seen the presentation, when you followed up, now you got to ask them, all right, so are you ready to get started? Can we sign you up today? You know, be kind of firm about it, but don't be pushy about it. But you want to kind of form that, uh, you want to close them out because once you close them out, you know, it get, it kind of gives them that, um sense of urgency and they'll be able to you know hop on you know so those are my tips those are my five tips to help you recruit and uh, sign people up on facebook now if you want to learn more about how you can prospect people on facebook how you can generate leads automatically on facebook using facebook lives and other media uh, i have a free training that i'm offering down below just click the link in the description fill out the off form and i'll send that training to you absolutely free just to help you you know recruit more people on, on facebook i hope this video was helpful for you i hope you got some value from this video please if you liked it go ahead and like it share it subscribe to my page i'll be bringing you more information on how you can be be successful in your business and thanks guys for watching and I'll talk to you on the next video